So you can bring them around to your feet. Either way is fine. Allow your body to relax. Make sure your knees are not together. They should be about hip distance apart. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up. Oh, there'd <laughs> be a cat. Excuse me, Mister. Thank you. Excuse me. So bring your right foot forward. Shut up, my mat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Place your foot flat on the floor in front of you and press your hips towards the back of that heel. Nice to see he's gone a long way off, eh? <laughs> so really pressing the hips down towards the back of that foot. Place your other hand on the floor next to it and extend the arm up towards the ceiling. Now rather than wrapping that hand around the back, just extend it towards the back of the room. Really push the fingertips away. Keep it there, a few more seconds. Now circle that arm all the way over. Sweep it round and to the other side, the outside of your other hand, so you're twisting around. As you do that, push your weight back slightly into the leg. So you're twisting through the shoulders. Do that lift again, so breathe in, lift all the way up, straighten through the spine, lift up and back, reach back towards the back of the room. Inhale again, bring that arm all the way up and across, take it just to the side of the other hand and lean away from them. Hold it there. You should have a good stretch going through the back and the waist. Fantastic, well done. And gently release, come back to centre, bring the hands in. Push your weight backwards, flex your right foot, flex your front foot, and hold it there. So keep the toes lifted, reach across with the opposite hand, hold still. Now gently rotate those toes inwards. Use your bands if you need to. Fantastic. And then let go of the foot with that hand. Use the other hand and rotate it outwards. Lovely. Bring it back to centre. Press the weight forward. Release the hip for a second. And then swing that leg all the way back, avoiding pecs if you need to. And sit back onto your heels. <laughs> Shift that around. Okay, so doing exactly the same sequence with the other side. You're going to lift up, swing the other leg forward. Excuse me. Me or to you too. Bring the other leg forward, press your hips out of the way. Push your hips down towards the back of that heel. Other hand next to it, so your opposite hand is down on the floor next to it. Extend the other arm up towards the ceiling, hold still. Keep extending up through those hands, press down into your other hand. Now extend that arm all the way back towards the back of the room. Reach, reach, reach through those fingertips. Fantastic. Now bring that arm all the way over, circle it across. Bring it next to the on the outside of the other hand and lean away from it. Keep it there for a few more seconds. And do that once more. Inhale, bring that arm all the way up and back. Centralise through the hips. Reach to the back of the room. Push and extend through those fingertips. Fantastic. Well done. Keep it there a few more seconds. And then swing that arm all the way up and across. Bring it right across in front of the other hand or next to the other hand and push the hips away from your hands. Try not to fall over. Fantastic. Gently release. Bring it all the way back up to the top. Lift that hand for a second. Reach, reach, reach. And then bring it all the way back down. Push your weight back into your knee and flex the foot on that foot leg. Reach across with the opposite hand. Hold still. If you need to use a strap or a belt or a band or whatever you need to use, feel free. Wonderful. From there, you're going to rotate that foot inwards. So gentle pressure with the hand, push the toes inwards. Fabulous, well done. And gently release. 
swap your hands over and rotate that foot out. Take it as far out as your body will go.
I'm going to turn the other way now so you can see from the side. What I don't want you to do is lift this heel. You need to keep your heel down. So press the heel down, but push your weight forward. Now hold that stance. Use your fingertips at the back to press you forward. So you're pressing all the way into that, all the weight into that front leg. You should feel a stretch down the back of your lower calf. Keep it there. Take a deep breath in as you breathe out, release. And swap your feet over. So bend that knee, pull it under. Bring the other foot in so your toes are in line with the knee. Sit tall, hands at the back, press your weight forward, keeping your heel down at the back and your body weight going forward and pressing in. Keep breathing, slowly breathing gently. Make sure that heel stays down on that front foot. If it starts to lift, that's not going to work. And gently release, sit back. Bring your feet under you and your knees under you again. Now take the knees out to the side. You're going to bend your right knee up, so you're going to bring that foot in. So your foot is flat on the floor. The knee is still out to the side and your heel is down, if you can. If that's not happening for you, do whatever you can manage. If you need to be here for this to work for you, that's fine. Hands in. Elbows onto the inside of the knee. Press the palms together so the hands are in front of your chest and push that knee out to the side with your elbow. If that's not for you, sit out. We'll be joining you in a second. Place the soles of your feet together if this is too much and rest it there. Are you all right, Bonnie? And very gently release. Bring the foot in, swap the legs over. So your right knee is out to the side, the left knee is up this time, or the other way around. Again, hands together. Place the elbow onto the inside of the knee. Press down and pause. Fantastic, well done. Gently release, bring it back in. From there, swing your feet round to the front and cross the feet over in front of you. Are you okay? 